This is just a quick tutorial on how to show you to on how to downgrade apps on your iPhone. Um, as you, many of you know, if you upgrade an app on the App Store, um, and it's they sometimes change them to new layouts, etc., and they are really annoying and are buggy and stuff. And this is just a way to get it to downgrade to the previous version or whatever version you want. Actually, um, I'm going to show you this with the Eurosport app because I know there's a lot of people complaining about the new one, and I agree, it's really really annoying. I I don't like it at all, but um. I'd like to point out this is jailbroken, but you don't actually have to be jailbroken. You can do this on just any device. So um, I'll just show you. This is the new version of Eurosport. Um, as you open it up here, and you can see the new day. It's I just really don't like it. It's kind of the same as the Facebook app um, with the lists on the left hand side. And then uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I also downgraded the Facebook app to the old one as well because I I just don't like timeline either. Um, but yeah, like you can see, this is the new one. It's I don't like it. Um, so anyway, what you want to gonna do is close out of this first, um, go into just hold down on the icon here to get it into jiggly mode, and press the X to delete it. You want to delete it off your iPhone, um, and it should. This is gonna talk from Game Center. Yeah, doesn't matter. Take it away. Um, also do. So anyway, and the next step now is to, um, go on to so go on to iTunes now. Okay, now we're on iTunes. Um, this is the second part of the downgrading your app process. So what you want to gonna do is open up iTunes and click on apps over here on the left. Um, I'd like to point out again, if you have downloaded the app or updated the app, sorry, only on your iPhone and you haven't connected to the computer since, then it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do this. But not easier. It's just gonna take a little bit less time. Um, however, I think most of you have probably synced it with your iTunes, which means when you go to iTunes, this. Uh, just search for the app you're looking for. Uh, in our case, we're doing Eurosport to start with. But um, yeah, you want to left hand click. I'm on a Mac. Um, this should be the same in Windows. Um, you want to hit Get Info, um, and it's going to show you. And if you've synced it with your phone since you've updated it, it's going to come up 3.0.1 over here, or uh, whatever version, the newest version. Uh, the older, the last old version was 2.7.1, which is the one we want. Um, if you haven't synced it with your computer, it's going to come up 2.7.1. And since you've deleted it on your iPhone, all you have to do is just sync this, and it will copy the old one back on. But again, if you have synced it, what we're going to have to do is delete this from iTunes. So, um, yeah, we're just going to delete this, move to trash, um, and away it goes. Uh, now, to get the old one, you're going to, for Windows, go into Recycle Bin, or for Mac, into Trash, and you're going to search for Eurosport. When an app updates, it should, by default, send the old one to your Recycle Bin or Trash, um, and we can find it, you should be able to find it here. Eurosport. Uh, trash, sorry. And yeah, there it is, 2.7.1. That's these. That's the new one. This is the old one. This is what we want. So drag this into the desktop like this. Um, if it's not here, it might not be there. It should be, but if it's not, it doesn't really matter. You can you can Google Eurosport 2.7.1 IPA, and you should be able to get down for it. Fine, it'll do the same thing. And then once you have this um, in your desktop, you just want to drag it back into your iTunes, uh, and it should. There it is. And now when I click Get Info here. It should come up. Yeah, there it is. Two point seven point one, and uh, not three point zero point one. So that's it in your iTunes. Now all you have to do is just connect your iPhone. So plug in your iPhone to um, iTunes. There it is, making a noise, and it should sync. Not a problem. <clears throat> okay, now it's synced over. All you have to do is um, click on this apps tab at the top, and. By default, I think it does not sync the old version, so you're gonna have to scroll down until you find it here. Um, or yeah, oh no, it has actually. Sometimes this box isn't checked, but for us, it is checked, um, which is good. And just um, that means it's synced over. But if it if it hasn't, if the box like this isn't checked, you just take it and then click apply down here at the bottom, and it'll sync across. And that's it. We'll go back to the phone now home screen and the sync's completed so when we launch your sport it should load the old 2.7.1 version not the new one here we go and yeah there it is we're back to the old one thankfully <laughs> uh, you have all your favorites down at the bottom etc like it used to be and that's it
you can do this with whatever app you want. Um, as I said, I've got the really old Facebook one, like this one here, the classic. <laughs> so no timeline or anything, but yeah. Um, I hope this is useful for you. Thanks for watching.